Hello, stamping friends. This is Holly Peterson. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States. And today I'm going to show you how I made this card using After the Storm and Mountain Air Stamp Sense. Get these out of the way. We're going to start with the stamping and sponging. I have two pieces of uh, basic white that measure four by five and a quarter. One's for the inside and one's for the outside. And even though I'm using a white card base, sometimes I like to go ahead and put an insert in it as well. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to Stamp the mountains on our, our uh, front piece in Smoky Slate. And I like to use a foam mat when I'm using a photopolymer. You get a better image if you have a little bit of cushion. And I'm going to stamp this kind of low to the bottom. And then without re-inking, I'm just going to move it and stamp again. And then I'm going to ink it up, stamp it off, and bring some more mountains over here. Our next step is going to be to stamp the tree line across the bottom here. Make sure I'm in my video, sorry. The tree line across the bottom here. And then I'm also going to stamp the tree line on my inside layer. And the color I'm using for my tree line is soft succulent. And I like to kind of line the trees up with the bottom of the mountains so that it fills in some of that white space. And I'm actually gonna stamp that again. I'm just gonna stamp right over the top of it. like that. Then we're going to stamp the tree line on our inside piece, just down here at the bottom. And while I have my soft succulent, we might as well add some trees to our envelope. You don't want to go too far over to the right. I like to do it down here in this bottom left corner. Just like that. We're going to bring back in our, our top layer. And now we're going to do, uh, we're going to make our sunshine and our clouds. And I just realized I forgot to put those on blocks. So let me get those out here real quick.
Sorry, I thought I was a little bit more prepared for my video here. I'm participating in a uh, blog hop with our team uh, using uh, Frenchie's Frenchie. Um, Franz Martin is my upline, and we're using her stamp set for a blog hop. So now I'm using Versamark ink, and that is a clear, sticky ink that um, allows you to heat emboss. So we're going to, I'm going to do my, my sunshine rays first, and I'm going to ink up the rays. We don't need this foam pad anymore. And I want my sun to come from this corner over here. And I'm going to make it just meet my clouds. Now you guys won't be able to see that, but there is ink on there. Let me do the big cloud. And we're going to just make the big cloud come over here. And then the smaller cloud, we're going to put kind of up here at the top. Okay. Then I'm going to take clear embossing powder. And I'm just going to Sprinkle that on where I've stamped. going to use our our heat tool there's two uh, settings on it and I'm going to use setting two I'm just going to do that off camera here real quick missed part of my um, my cloud here but I think it will be okay we're gonna go ahead and go with it put this away so that I don't spill it everywhere okay now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our blending brushes and I keep a blending brush for not every single color but each family of color so I have a yellow a pink and then this is my blue one so I'm going to start with my yellow and the yellow I'm using is daffodil delight I'm going to rub my 
blending brush into my ink pad. And then I'm just going to start over here in the corner. And I'm just going to lightly sponge some yellow over here. You can make it as dark as you want or as light as you want. I like to go in with a light hand and add more layers if I want more ink. Okay, so I think that's good for that. And then I'm going to add some Flirty Flamingo. Kind of give our sky a little bit of pink. And again, I like to start off of my my um, card and I'm gonna go right along the mountains here and up into my sun rays a little bit okay I think that's good for that. And then the last color that we're going to use is balmy blue. And we're going to do the rest of the sky with the balmy blue. We want to be careful around our yellow, otherwise we'll end up with green. We don't want a green sky. So we'll pick up some balmy blue and I'm just going to fill in this little white area over here above my mountains. And I'm going right over the embossing. We're going to wipe all that off here in a minute. And then it makes it look like it's through the clouds and everything. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So when you heat emboss, you want to take a tissue or I have a, a napkin here. You want to wipe off your embossed areas to get rid of that excess ink off of there. And then it makes your colors pop as well. Okay, now we're going to add our little birds. And I decided I wanted one big bird and two little birds. And we're going to do that with the basic gray. So we'll put our big bird up here. And this little tiny bird. Like that. We then have a um, smoky slate layer that measures um, four and an eighth. So it measures four and an eighth by five and three eighths. So that'll just give us a little bit of a border around this layer and our card base. So we're going to add, I like using um, the Stampin' Seal. some powder on here. Okay. So then we're going to just center this on there. Like that. And then I have the new Evergreen Border Punch. And I have a piece of Evening Evergreen cardstock that measures one and a half inches by five and a half inches. And the way I like to use these border punches is I like to put it down 
flat on my table. And then I like to make it so that the ends are going to be fairly similar. We're gonna end up snipping some of this off anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But then you wanna line it all the way up against the edge, this, this edge here, and then you just punch. And then you slide it down. And you line it up with these, the silver parts here. You line it up with that. And you punch. And then that gets us to the edge over there. And then we'll do the same thing over here. We'll line these trees up, hold it in place, and punch. If you wanted, you can turn these little guys upside down and you have another set of trees if you wanted to use those as well. Today, I'm just gonna throw them away. I don't need those today. Oh, I forgot my Stampin' Dimensionals, so let me grab my mini dimensionals. And I used the black ones. You could use the white ones if you wanted. Um, I just thought since it was a, a dark color that I would go ahead and use my black ones. And I put one on every every tree. This is the little bit here that I snipped off. And I just kind of wiggled it a little bit to make it look like my tree. there. Stubborn little guys today. Okay, so we'll bring our, the front of our card back in here, and then I just layered it. Down here. Just like that. Then I have our inside piece and with our Daffodil Delight, we're going to add a greeting to the inside. And this one says, a little sunshine for your day. So we'll ink that up. And I like to put mine right in the middle here. And then I have a card base. I like to use the thick basic white card base and I cut a whole package at a time. So I score them first and then I cut them down to card base size. So this is eight and a half by five and a half and I've scored it at four and a quarter. And we'll take our bone folder Just make that a nice crisp crease. We're going to add our inside layer. Oops, I knew I was going to run out of tape. 
So I have another one right here ready to go. Let me just pop it back in here. And snap the lid back on and you're ready to go. And you could put this on dimensionals on the on the front. I just put it with um, with adhesive. Just like that. Thanks for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day.